Hey guys, welcome back to the Freedom Grow Farm. Today I'm going to show you my first farmer's market. For some reason I had the idea of painting mason jars and putting my flowers in them. So here I'm just showing you what I did two days before market and paint some mason jars. I got these painting inspirations from Pinterest and that's what I did. I pretty much used I use this chalk, white chalk paint and then acrylic little mini paints from Walmart to make my design. So I took a good amount of time to do these. I did about six or seven of them. This is the finished product. I just tied some burlap string around them with my card. Today is Friday. Tomorrow is my first market ever, farmer's market ever. I have some things to do in the middle of the day, which will take me away from the farm for a couple hours. So today I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and I made some dry bouquets from some dried cress uh, that I have. So I wanna see if I can sell that. And I am now at six o'clock and I'm harvesting the flowers that I'm gonna be making the bouquets. So I'm doing this now. It's a, it's so beautiful this morning. I need to wake up earlier like this every day. I'm going to start doing that. But I am hopefully going to have some flowers. I think about a hundred and something uh, stems I was counting yesterday. I did like a whole butcher of like my marigolds as you've seen pictures. I'll show you some pictures of what I did. Cut them back because they were falling everywhere. Maybe I should have left a little bit but I mean, I'm just, it's my first market. Obviously, I'm not going to bring tons of inventory the first time just because I am unprepared as a newbie. But let's just see what type of flowers I'm going to harvest today. I'm going to harvest this morning, which is like the best time to harvest anything, really. And then I'm going to try to make bouquets before I have to do other things and then leave. So I'm just going to show you what we have, what we're working with. We have these white zinnias here, a few of these. I just picked this uh, zinnia here. She's a beauty. We have some status I'm working with. These are some of the marigolds that I left, which I should have left more, but whatever, I wanted a clean slate. <laughs> um, some of them are popping up, but I have some of these. I definitely need to net. I know, I know, I need to net next time. It's I was just in a rush. I have some um, Susans, Black Eye Susans. They're not the biggest, but we'll just work with it. Some white and red zinnias here. Some more here. These are some new plant babies, Comfrina, that I put down the other day. I have some pink uh, Queen Lime uh, zinnias. So I have some of those popping up. They're looking very beautiful. I have some salmon rose. Some of them are not quite open yet. So I don't, I we'll see what's ready. Whatever is left with my Queen Anne's lace kind of dried up already. So I think after this it's done. Which one plant. One. <laughs> I seeded. I sowed so many and I that one was the only one that survived, but it's okay. These purple zinnias, I have a lot of these. This is the basil, lemon meyer or something like that. I have to, I'll put it in this description box. These are all new basil, all new greenery, and all new zinnias that I planted that are growing. Working with some of these purple ones. And then some of these white ones over here. So that's all I'm working with for my first market ever. But you know, we're just going to try our best and make as many bouquets as possible. Of course, right in the middle of me harvesting, I found a possum. So I was trying to shoo it away. Where did it go? Well, I couldn't find the possum. I shooed it away, I guess. So I just decided to 
open up the chickens there you have feed for some reason the turkeys like the pool i don't know my husband did that they don't really need it but they just like to sit in there yeah we, bought a, we have about 40 something hens and two roosters all right back to flowers All right, I cut my first couple of flowers with these white and yellow ones. I'm stripping off the leaves as I go. And that's how we're looking now. Managed to get some of some flower Steve's flowers, just little ones that were branching. So, yay. Now time to make bouquets. I'm back inside. I went ahead and started my bouquets by putting all the lemon basil in the mason jars. I'm just trying to see how much I really have or how much I really need uh, to go back out if I needed to harvest more. But I have all those zinnias and I'm just feeling things out right now and trying to see size and how far to cut. With all the mason jars, I went ahead and put all the zinnias in them. Looks beautiful, have white, zinnias they're all binary giant zinnias so they look very big and beautiful and that's how one will look in the painted mason jar now i also i'm going to add some clear mason jars with no paint here i have some sunflower steve sunflowers marigold zinnias and the lemon basil i think these look so beautiful the painted jars and the clear jars have pretty much the same flowers in them. And they smell so good because of the lemon basil. This is my crest that has dried and I'm bunching them together and wrapping them in craft paper. Stapled my card on the side as well to make a little bouquet just to see if they sell. I just wrap it and use my stapler to kind of help me shape it. I just go went ahead and cut some more basil and some salmon rose zinnias and white zinnias because I needed more flowers. It's six o'clock and I'm harvesting more basil. I'm trying to make last minute bouquets and then I have to make some macrame and print labels for the cookies if I can and then make cookies. <laughs> I still have a lot to do for tomorrow. Hopefully at least I could bring at least 600 something dollars worth of product tomorrow. I mean, I can sell zero product, but my first time, I think it's going to rain as well. We'll see. Done harvesting for the night. That's what I have left. Lots of lemon basil and some zinnias. All right, going to finish some bouquets and keep prepping. This is last minute prep. I went ahead and did some more mason jar. Today's the day. So when I went to market, it was pretty easy. I was able to set up right next to my booth. And after I just parked here, they told every other vendor to park. It's like a baseball field that's right across the venue, which you'll see right now. There it is. That venue. My tent is right out that overhang. So I'll go ahead and show you what my table looks like. So this is my setup. I have two tables with black tablecloth and my banner and spread the flowers everywhere with a little sign uh, with the prices, my cookies and my little cards in a little mini pot holder, like ceramic one. So I have my clear ones, I have my cash box and my macrame that I made. This market's really slow, and I also found that this basil wilts really easily, so I had to take some off, but just waiting for customers to arrive. While I wait, I was just doing some macrame and waiting for customers and see if any if we got any sales. That's my father-in-law with me. He really helped me uh, set up everything, too. More flowers that I had to take out because of wilting. I've, uh, a good jug of water there just in case too for my flowers. I just thought that would be a good idea just to make sure they are well watered but still waiting. 
for customers and waiting. Thirty minutes left. I did sell some bouquets. All the clear ones, our mason jars were gone. Mace, the painted ones didn't do very well. So now I know a lot of people like actually craft paper bouquets. So definitely learned this market. Not very packed, but it was a good one. So it's a couple days after the farmer's market and I'm going to say it was pretty good for my first time. As you saw, I didn't sell out and not many people or actually nobody bought any of the painted mason jars, which I don't know why I got the idea of painted mason jars. Maybe I just wanted it to be different, but no one cared for them. I actually talked to a lot of locals, which was pretty cool. I got to make conversations with people. Some some lady just bought a bouquet just because I was a nurse and she was a nurse. And you know, that was cool to make that connection. So I really did the job of networking and communicating with the locals and seeing what they want. We are the only flower farmer at that market. So that's a good thing. They haven't had a flower farmer in a while there. So everybody was really excited for the flowers, but they all mentioned that they rather have bouquets and wrap craft that paper so that was good market research for me just to see what the locals like so this market is not every weekend it's the first and third saturday of every month so like, that gives me some room to do other markets people did buy the clear mason jars even a lot of them said that they don't really need a mason jar you know they still sold so i would replace some of the flowers that weren't doing so well in the clear mason jars just to sell them because those were selling and other than that, I didn't sell any cookies or any macrame. So, you know, it's just see what works. So pretty much just keep it simple. That's what I learned about this first market. I definitely love using the Square app, which is how I uh, used, that's what I used to uh, get the payments. And one person paid cash, so it wasn't too bad. Other than that, it was pretty slow market. And we just got our egg license yesterday, actually. We got inspected by the state and we met all requirements so officially we can sell eggs legally in florida and we're going to bring those eggs to the next market and we're excited to do that so i really do try to educate everybody who comes up to my booth and i tell them about the flowers what type they are i talk about sun sunflower steve and his amazing sunflowers a lot of older ladies really appreciated that a lot of older ladies also knew what type of flowers that i had and they were amazed with the big binary giant ones. They love those. So I'm really excited to do craft paper bouquets next market and see how many we can sell. A lot of people did get my cards. I asked, some questions that I got asked was, do we do events? Do we deliver? Things like that. We are 25 minutes away from this market or from that area. So I have to see my options there. If I do get business there, that would be a great connection. So those are other things that happened at the market. And I mean, compared to other people that I was seeing around me and not getting much business, we got a, a good and decent amount of business for the amount of people that were there. Like I said, it's a very slow market. There's not many people there. It's my first market, so we'll see how the summer goes into the fall and winter. And I'm excited to just kind of see what works, continues to see what works and follow what the consumer wants. And I will see how that works. As a first time flower farmer and the first time selling at a farmer's market, all I can say now for my first time experience is that keep it simple, one, two, go with your gut, three, definitely be personable. People love my story, I told them I was a military veteran, registered nurse, my family is here now trying to build a flower farm. I got a lot of good feedback on people just wanting to support a small farm, a local farm, just trying to spread the joy of flowers so i think if you're more personable people will really appreciate that and i found very comforting i actually had fun educating everybody on flowers and just talking to the people I hopefully i can be more comfortable and talk to you guys when i'm at the market i just really didn't film because i just wanted just to see how it was and how my comfort level was but i'll definitely bring you to more markets as i'm actually adding a lot of markets as well i got into another farmer's market which is a new one 
I'll start that in October. I want to do another market, which is like every Tuesday starting October. It's a different one. So I am doing a lot of pop-ups too, signing up for pop-ups pretty much in the fall. So I'm trying to book my schedule and try to plan the flowers that I'm going to be sowing. So it's very busy fall and I hope we make a lot of business and I'm just going to bring you along the way. So if you haven't subscribed, please do to follow along my flower farm journey and like this video if you like it and we'll see you guys in the next video.